Yeah. Well, welcome back, uh, Buffs, or welcome to, for the first time, Mental Training Thursdays. We have a special one starting this week and for the month of May ahead. It is Mental Health Awareness Month. And so in that spirit, we're going to take a little bit of a break from our mental toughness series and really transition to looking at mental health as performance, as part of our physical health, our social health. You know, um, and so what we're going to do today, for those of you who are new to Mental Training Thursdays, we'll really dive in with a question from a student athlete. We discuss some topics around that that can really support us around being at our best in our sport or our life or career. And then we offer a practice at the end that you can take with you during your day. So um, there was a question from a student athlete that really piqued our interest that Chris will kind of kick us off for today's topic. A lot of people in my sport uh, tell me to leave my stuff in the locker room so I can play hard and be at my best, but I find that hard to do. What do you recommend? Well, first off, snaps to this student athlete for this question, because I think this is something that we hear often. I know I do my work um, within PHP. I know Dr. Walker does as well. But basically, you know, one of these questions of, can you just compartmentalize that stuff that doesn't belong here? And I know we could take a deep dive into what that is, but I, I think, you know, in the spirit of Mental Health Awareness Month, we really want to look at this balance between mental health and performance and how they actually fit together. It's not one or the other. It's more of a, a both and, you know? And so I think sometimes we view kind of performance like we're a car, and they're just these different parts that we take to the shop. And once that part's all set, we'll put it back in and we're all good. We bring our full selves with us all the time. And so I just want to first validate this experience for this student athlete. I think it's the same for us as staff, you know, leave your stuff at the door when you show up at work, you know, and I think for us, what's really important, we want to acknowledge today to really validate that person first. And then your other identities that come with that. So whether you're a staff, whether you're a student athlete, and yes, sometimes, you know, it can be helpful for how do I get my needs met in terms of what's going on for me emotionally, socially, you know, physically before I step on the field, before I step into this meeting, so I can be as present as I possibly can be, you know, and to connect it to, you know, what we've been talking about for this mental toughness series. And in many ways, you know, our stuff, we represented by kind of this notebook and the first step of all those internal thoughts, feelings, sensations that can really take us out of the present. Often we're taught to just push it away, to cut it out, as opposed to actually being with it and, and saying, well, what, what do I need? What do I really need first? so that I can put it down and be as present in the spaces that I'm in as possible. So, you know, talking about today's topic as mental health is performance, we just wanna hit on a, a few quick notes from the Mental Lift Monday from earlier this week. You know, often dominant culture will tell us, you know, that mental health is for people who are struggling. So there's automatically this stigma or shame around it. So if you're working on your mental health, that must mean you're not enough in some way that definitely shows up in athletics, um, both for me as a former student athlete and now in my role as a sports psychologist, we view it as this kind of weakness lens from dominant culture. And we really wanna bust that myth throughout this month together. So we encourage you all, whether on this call or listening to it later, you know, what have been the stories that you've been told that have not been helpful, that you've heard as an athlete, um, as a fellow colleague, you know, within your own identities growing up within your family and communities, what hasn't served you? I know many come to mind for me, but just know that you're not alone. And what we include in the Mental Lift Monday, there's a great link to the Players Tribune, which is an awesome online kind of newsletter that goes out where some of the most elite performers in the world share out their struggles around mental health and just accessing their best selves and working through the pain that's inevitable in life. Um, so our argument is gonna be mental health actually fuels performance. So when we can think, feel, act, and connect in ways that are really meaningful for us, I think we can be unstoppable when it comes to our competition, 
you know, when we step foot on the field, the track, you know, when we're in the pool, whatever that looks like for you. And so over the next month, we're really going to encourage you to treat your mental health just like brushing your teeth. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing my mom and that, that sentiment right now with Mother's Day coming up. But it's really true. This is kind of a daily habit that we can bring into every single day and start to integrate, which is going to be a, a main focus of our practice today. Thanks so much, Bob. I, I really like that. I think some of the key things that I take from that is that um, when we are struggling and we're in silence about it, that's what fuels that part of it. And when we can name it, when we can give ourselves compassion and recognize we're human and that humanness, when we do name it, actually tames it and creates a little bit of space through the compassion to then bring your best self, whether it's through work, through relationships, through sport, through performance, whatever performance that is, it might be performance in life. Um, and, and so with that, I think the exercise we wanted to share with you all for today is uh, one way to engage each day. I know Bob mentioned taking care of your mental health just like you would your teeth um, every day, waking up and, and doing a little bit of a mental health warm up. So, you know, I work, we work with athletes and team environments. Sometimes we'll do a mental training warm up for performance. And that's really geared towards the, the skills side of things and really getting ready for the competition, the game, whatever it is um, for the athlete. And there's a way that you can warm your mind up for the day with compassion to really engage in a meaningful way each day. And every day that you do it, just noticing and creating space. So we wanted to introduce this exercise um, with you all. For today. Um, so I want you to, you know, I invite you to sit however feels comfortable for you, maybe plant your feet on the ground, get comfortable. And you can either choose to close your eyes, or if you want to keep them open, that's okay too. If you do decide to keep them open, just gaze downward, maybe a few feet in front of you, or if you're sitting at your desk, just down at your desk. And then just Turn your attention to your breath and really just engage in your breath. Focus on your breath and try to clear your mind a little bit of, of any worries. And if you have some worries, that's okay too. Just notice, let go and refocus on your breath. And notice when you're breathing in and breathing out, Let yourself experience and be aware of the sensations of breathing. And in a moment, I'll ask you to take a slow, deep breath through your nose, filling the lower part of your lungs, then the middle part, and finally the upper part of your lungs. After holding the breath for a few seconds, you'll exhale slowly, relaxing your abdomen and chest as you do so. So when you're ready, just breathe in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. And if you want to, you could do that one more time, breathing in nice and deep for two, three, four little bit of a pause and out, two, three, four. And then just relax in, settle in, maybe resume breathing normally. And just remember that that deep breath, those two deep breaths that you just took, that's a tool that you can use to calm yourself as needed throughout the day. Now take a moment 
And we said it was a mental health warm up. So I want you to get a clear mental picture of perhaps a something particular you want to accomplish today. Something that maybe it's a task at work. Maybe if you're an athlete, maybe it's part of your training, something that you want to accomplish. It doesn't have to be big. It could be small. It could be making yourself a, a delicious meal. Whatever it is, try to get that picture in your mind. And if you chose to keep your eyes open during this exercise, perhaps try to close your eyes at this moment as you think about something within your control that you want to accomplish. It's a little bit easier to imagine that. Notice what you see in this mental, mental picture of what you want to accomplish. Really imagine that. What sensations do you notice in your body as you're imagining yourself accomplishing that task or that goal? What do you feel in your muscles? Any tension? Are you relaxed? What do you feel emotionally? What sounds do you hear? Are there any smells and tastes that you notice? Try to make that mental picture as clear and vivid as you can using your senses. And as you imagine what you want to accomplish today, breathe into it, noticing what you see, what you feel, what you hear. Again, breathe in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. Ask yourself what you need. What do you truly need to accomplish this goal? Maybe it's support. Maybe it's some self-compassion. Maybe it's some positive self-talk. Whatever it is, just notice that. What is it that you need? Ask yourself who you may want to lean on for support today in pursuit of that goal. And perhaps you visualize yourself connecting with that person. Okay, now let that mental picture fade and, and turn your attention again to your breathing. Breathing in, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Now you've let that mental picture fade. Notice how you feel emotionally, physically, mentally. What sensations you may be experiencing from your mental picture. Know that you can bring back the mental picture of what you want to accomplish at any point today, filled with the belief that you can make it happen. Trust in that. Now take one more deep, full inhalation. And as you breathe in, Breathe in the belief in yourself that you can succeed. As you exhale, let go of any doubt or tension that you may have still. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes or bring your gaze forward and return your attention to the world around you. Thanks so much, Rachel. Thanks for everyone on this call or for you know, watching this at a certain point during your day of just leaning into your own mental health and what you need uh, to be at your best. Um, 
And I love this exercise because I think all of us are kind of playing that loop of, okay, what's coming next? What matters most to me? How do I prepare for, for the next thing? And just being able to take time to set that intention to, to live it out in a really valued way and bringing in that sense of calm and trust is so important. So appreciate everyone for being on the call and thanks for joining us. Join us next week. We're going to continue this month-long series for Mental Health Awareness Month, the month of May. Our second topic is going to be mental health is a team sport. Um, If you have any questions about this week's mental health and um, mental training Thursday, feel free to email me. That's Bob. But I go by robert.deal at colorado.edu. Looking forward for those questions, and we'll spend time on that next week in our first few minutes. And as always, we're going to end with a quote. This one's from Brandon Marshall, former NFL wide receiver. And he says, when I first heard the term mental health, the first thing that came to mind was mental toughness, masking pain, hiding it, keeping it inside. That had been embedded in me since I was a kid. Never show weakness, suck it up, play through it, live through it. Now I realize that mental health means the total opposite. And we encourage you to keep listening into those stories that really serve you and your mental health this month ahead and beyond. And look forward to seeing you next week. Go Buffs.